So let's look at the example where the quadratic sequence is given by 8. Th um, let's move it up a little bit so we have space to write that side. 8, 33, 78, 143. Param, param, param. Okay, so there is a. I could, well, they don't tell me what type of sequence, they just ask me to find. The general term find tn so I say okay I'll do it okay let's first see is it an arithmetic sequence so uh, 33 minus 8 gives me 24 78 minus 33 gives me 40 what 5 okay uh, 143 minus 78 gives me 60 60, what's it, 5, 65, oh, I made a mistake here, uh, 33 minus 8 gives me 25, cool, and uh, now I can see, oh, 25, 45, 65, that looks more than a little bit curious, so we see, okay, surely 45 minus 25 is 20, same goes, 65 minus 45, beautiful, Okay, and here we go. Here we have our first uh, uh, numbers in each of these three sequences. And now you just need to remember that this last one is 2a is equal to uh, 20. Okay, so since I know it's a quadratic sequence, I think best would be just to say, okay, well, I know that this is true. This is going to be the general term. I just need to find a, b, and c. So 2a will be equal to 20. Okay, if 2a is equal to 20, then I know, okay, that means a is equal to 10. Okay, I have that so long. Then I know that 3a plus 1b should give me 25. So 3 times 10 is 30. 30 plus what will give me 25? So let's see. 3 times 10 plus B must equal 25. Okay, and that means B is equal to 25 minus 30 or negative 5. And then finally, okay, I've used enough purple now. Let's use another one. A plus B plus C must equal 8. A being 10, B being negative 5, so C, let's see, 10 minus 5 plus C must equal 8, and that means 8 is equal to 10 minus 5 is 5, subtract 5 on both sides, and I find that C is equal to 3, and there we go, we have term TN, and that's simply 10N squared plus Oh no, it's minus, minus 5n plus 3. Not too bad, and now we can go ahead and answer the types of questions like they might need to ask to find term 17. Say, so, no problem, 10 times 17 squared minus 5 times 17 plus 3, and let's see what. I'm a bit lazy, it's a Friday afternoon, so I'm going to use the calculator. So 17 squared times 10 minus 5 times 17 plus 3 is equal to, there we go, 2808. Okay, come on, bring it on. 